In this video, I will consider one numerical on node analysis. Determine V1, V2, V3 using node analysis. This is the given circuit. Here we have V1, V2 and V3. We suppose to calculate these values using node analysis. So as we know in node analysis, the first step is mark all branch currents. So here we have 10 ohm register branch. Let me consider the current through this branch is I1. Let current through this branch is I2. Let current through this branch is I3. This is say I4. This is say I5. And let me consider current through this branch is already shown that is Ix. Let me take the same thing. So now we should apply KCL to each nodes. But here we can observe that node V2 and node V3 between these two nodes there is a dependent voltage source that is current dependent voltage source is connected between V2 and V3. It means that V2 and V3 are super nodes that is if voltage source is connected between two nodes those two nodes are known as super nodes. So here V2 and V3 are super nodes that is here V2 and V3 are super nodes. As we know the algebraic sum of currents at super node is always equal to 0. That is let me write algebraic sum of currents at super nodes is 0. So now let me analyze the super nodes first that is here we can say that positive terminal is connected to V3, negative terminal is connected to V2. I can write it as V3 minus V2 is equal to phi Ix. Let me call it as equation 1. So now let me consider this. So algebraic sum of currents at super node is 0. So at node 2 here I can write at node 2 or at node V2, let me write the currents, I3 is outgoing, Ix is outgoing. I will consider incoming current as positive, outgoing current as negative. That is current I3 is leaving, so I will write it as minus I3 and another current is minus Ix. Similarly, at node V3, the total currents are I4 and I5. I4 is leaving, I5 is leaving. That is minus I4 minus I5. It is said that algebraic sum of current that is sum of all these equal to 0. That is therefore I can write therefore I3 plus minus I3 minus Ix minus I4 minus I5 is equal to 0. Or I can write it as I3 plus I4 plus I5 plus Ix is equal to 0. So now let me express all these currents in terms of node voltages. So here I3 can be represented as V2 divided by 20. That is I3 is nothing but V2 divided by 20 plus I4. Here we can see I4 is nothing but V3 divided by 15. That is V3 by 15 plus I5 is nothing but V3. So here we can consider one node. This is one node. I will call this as V4. So here V4 is equal to 40 volt. So I can write voltage V4 is equal to 40 volt. I can write V4 is equal to 40 volt. Therefore, I can write I5 is nothing but V3 minus V4 divided by 2. So, I5 is V3 minus V4 divided by 2. So, similarly, we have Ix plus Ix is nothing but V2 minus V1 divided by 5. 
that is v2 minus v1 divided by phi is equal to 0. Let me simplify this. So here we have v2, I can write it as 1 over 20. So here we have v2 by phi that is plus 1 over phi plus now I can write v3 by 15 as v3 1 by 15 plus here we have 1 by 2 minus v4 value is we have 40. So 40 divided by 2 is minus 20. Remaining term is minus v1 by 5 that is v1 by 5 is equal to 0. Further I can simplify I will write minus v1 by 5. So 1 by 20 plus 1 by 5 it gives plus 0 0.25 v2 plus 1 by 15 plus 1 by 2 it gives 0 0.5667 v3 I will take this v minus 20 on other side it will be equal to 20. So let me call it as equation 2. So now v2 v3 nodes are considered the remaining node is v1. So here v1 is normal node we should apply KCL to node V1 that is now apply KCL to node V1 that is KCL says that incoming current is equal to outgoing current here I1 is outgoing 6 amp is outgoing I2 is outgoing Ix is incoming I can write Ix is equal to V have I1, I2 and 6. I1 plus I2 plus 6. Further I can represent it as Ix is nothing but V2 minus V1 divided by 5. So Ix is V2 minus V1 divided by 5 is equal to I1 is nothing but V1 by 10. We have V1 by 10 plus I2 is the current which is flowing from V1 towards V4. I can write it as V1 minus V4 divided by 6. That is V1 minus V4 divided by 6. And here we have plus 6. Let me simplify this further. V2 by 5 minus V1 by 5 is equal to V1 by 10. We have plus V1 by 6. So V4 value is already found that is 40. So for minus 40 by 6 that is minus 40 divided by 6 then we have plus 6 plus 6. So let me simplify this further. I can write it as V2 by 5 minus V1 by 5. I'll take this V1 other side minus V1 by 10. I'll take this V1 left hand side minus v1 by 6 is equal to we have minus 40 by 6 plus 6 40 by 6 plus 6 let me simplify this further or i can write it as v2 by 5 minus v1 we have 1 by 5 plus 1 by 10 plus 1 by 6 is equal to minus 40 by 6 plus 6 let me simplify this. So here 1 by 5 is nothing but 0 0.2 V2 minus, let me calculate this value. It gives 0 0.4667 V1 is equal to, let me calculate this, that is 6 minus 40 by 6. It gives minus 0 0.667. So let me call it as equation 3. So now from equation 1 I can write it as that is from equation 1 we have V3 minus V2 is equal to phi Ix. V3 minus V2 is equal to phi Ix or I can write it as V3 minus V2 is equal to phi. So Ix is nothing but here we can see v2 minus v1 by 5 ix is v2 minus v1 divided by 
5. So let me simplify this. I can write V3 minus V2 is equal to V of 5 V2 divided by 5. That is, it is V2 minus V of V1. Or I can write it as, this can be written as V of V3 minus V2. I'll take V2 on the other side. Minus V2 plus V1 is equal to 0. Or I can write V1 minus 2V2 plus V3 is equal to 0. Let me call it as equation 4. Solving equation 2, 3 and 4 we get. So these three equations can be solved directly using calculator directly by feeding the values. Let me write the result directly. So we get V1 is equal to 10 volts, V2 is equal to 20 volts and V3 is equal to 30 volts. So these are the values of V1, V2, V3 and we have calculated this using nodal analysis. Thank you for watching.